Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, on this Monday, we're going to be doing a new devotion, and this one is called Kindness. I hope all of you are doing well and had a good weekend. Let's go ahead and get started, everyone. A kind-hearted woman gains respect, but ruthless men gain only wealth. A kind man benefits himself, but a cruel man brings trouble on himself. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. As God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Make sure that nobody pays back wrong for wrong, but always try to be kind to each other and to everyone else. Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. As servants of God, we commend ourselves in every way, in great endurance, in troubles, hardships, and distresses, in purity, understanding, patience, and kindness, in the Holy Spirit, and in sincere love. If everyone has material possessions and sees his brother in need, but has no pity on him, how can the love of God be in him? Dear children, don't, dear children, let us not love with words or tongue, but with actions and in truth. When the kindness and love of God, our Savior, appeared, he saved us. Not because of righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. An anxious heart weighs a man down, but a kind word cheers him up. Jesus said, In everything do to others what you would have them do to you, for this sums up the law and the prophets. When everything, with every, with every lasting kindness, I will have compassion on you, says the Lord your Redeemer. He who is kind to the poor lean, leads to the, leans to the Lord and will renew him for what he has done. I will tell of the kindness of the Lord, the deeds for which he is to be praised, according to all the Lord has done for us. Yes, the many good things he has done for the house of Israel, according to his compassion and many kindnesses. Showing Kindness God is the author of kindness. It was his kindness that brought us to repentance and to a relationship with him initially. Since he has been so kind to us, shouldn't we show his kindness to others? As Christian women, we can move beyond the world's vision of random acts of kindness and perform thoughtful words and deeds. This requires forethought and planning on our part. Take the time to ponder who was suffering from a recent heartbreak. Maybe they could use a listening ear or a shoulder to cry on. Ask yourselves who feels discouraged in your circle of friends. Maybe they need to hear an encouraging word. Think about who might feel alone and pick up the phone to tell them you're there and you care. You can show God's kindness in infinite and in creative ways. Think about who needs compassion today, then act on it. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed these verses. You can go back and look over it again and maybe jot them down um, to where you can um, take a little bit more time to um, drink in the knowledge of Jesus Christ's word today. And if you hear any little noise in the background, it's my little dog, Polly. So, she's my little buddy and she, she uh, makes little sounds. So, if you hear anything, that's what it is. I hope all of you have a great week. Um, I pray um, 
that you will all be safe, and I love you, and I'll see you next time at A Home with Donna, okay? Bye-bye.